It's way too early. Good morning, YouTube. It is uh, 3.06 on this Monday morning. Uh, hope you had a good weekend. Um, today, for way too early for explanations, we are going to talk about... Uh, this is actually an update episode. Um, so, previous episodes I talked about 3D printing. I'll post a link down in the description. Uh, well, the moment I uploaded that two, two articles came out right away shortly after that about uh, extra, extra things going on with 3D printing. And I thought, you know, I just posted this. I don't want to change it, um, but uh, maybe I'll do an update. So today I'm doing the update. Um, again, 3D printing, just to recap. <sighs> um, you, you sort of inkjet a layer of this material, uh, and then you inkjet another layer of the material and another layer of the material and this you start getting this 3D object. Um, the, the, the real um, the real innovation here is um, either new materials um, like uh, so we were talking about plastics, uh, metals, um, uh, at the end there I got into meat like chicken beef stuff like that and finally got into uh, human tissue um, muscles bones skin stuff like that so the update update number one is that in the food industry they're moving beyond just the meat uh, they're talking about things like vegetables and fruits and I guess breads and you know just so instead of just the meat stuff, because, again, they wanted to go after meat because raising meat took so many resources. Uh, when you think about the raising the chickens, raising the cattle, raising the pigs, if they could just print meat, you, you get away from, from all the raising and the, the food that you need and the fields that you need. Well... And they're even going beyond that, and they're thinking about, well, what if we do this with vegetables and with fruits and all this other stuff? And you you wouldn't have to farm anymore. So, um, farming does take a lot of resources, not as much as animals like cattle and and pigs. Uh, but yeah, I guess it makes it a good reason to do that. Uh, again, your issue, just like with the meat. 3D printing meat, uh, 3D printing any kind of food, it's going to come down to texture um, and whether people are going to enjoy it. Uh, because really, you know, people eat stuff because they enjoy eating it. I, I enjoy eating it. Uh, I love food. Um, maybe a little too much. Um, and so if you can get past people's uh, need for texture to be close to to the real thing, then then sure it'll work. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link to that story. And then the other one that I saw quickly after posting the previous video on 3D printing. Uh, so you you can either improve upon the materials that you print with, or you can improve upon the technology itself. So this second one has to do with the technology. They now have a product, uh, probably so expensive, uh, but you know, they have a product where your 3D printer is about yay big. It's not the size of a fridge or anything. It's the size of, you know, you could put it on your desk, probably still a couple hundred dollars, maybe a couple thousand dollars. But this new printer can you can put the object in the middle of the printer you can 3d scan it hold that uh scan in memory and then turn you know remove the object and turn around and create the object so almost like replication um 
which is kind of cool, you know, an all-in-one type of thing. You don't have to have a, you don't have to have a uh, a file in memory to build from. If you have an object that you want to build, uh, a simple enough object, you just stick it in, scan it, and start, you know, start building copies of it. So how simple? Um, the resolution of the scan isn't that great, which means it won't pick up fine detail. Um, if you have space at any particular point and that space is small enough it you know the scanner won't pick up the space and it'll just it'll just make it a solid block oh so it's not that great of a scanner uh, and replicator but it does the trick uh, for rudimentary um, and, and I guess you know if you wanted to you could scan it move the move the file over to your computer and put in the fine details that you want and then move it back to the printer and so with a little work you could probably you know get it back to just as good uh, but yeah there you go as far as an all-in-one thing they do have the scanner capability and it scans with multiple lasers that's that's how you, you don't have to move the object or whatever you just place the object and it scans um, yeah, which, you know, I should have talked about before because we do have, we do have items on the market that do, like, uh, body scan, like, you can, you can step, well, so it, it's not the size as small as, you know, this 3D printer, you, you can have a human being step into a booth and it, the booth will do scan of you. Um, and then you can, you can build like an action figure of yourself with, um, yeah, that, that I, I knew about. I, I guess I'll post that link too. So maybe that's the third topic for this update. Um, and I think you can do that with a bobblehead too, which is kind of weird. It'd be weird to see myself on a bobblehead. So there you go. That's today. Um, a little update on 3D printing because of articles that I found, again, quickly after I posted the first one. Um, innovation and technology are driven by whatever the public wants, you know, whatever makes money these days. And I guess people think this will make money. It's kind of exciting, um, kind of cool. Again, if, you know, it, it's really useful for, I think anyway, for, like, when we're sending people to Mars, give them a 3D printer, they can build whatever they need, as long as they have the right chemical compounds and resources, but... Uh, or, you know, start building stuff here. Um, let's explore it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if people like it. All right. I got to go get to work. You got to do whatever it is you do. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos, um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning tech about it. Thanks again.